Good morning, everybody. It is a cold February day, and we have hiked from Suck Creek Road to Mushroom Rock on the Cumberland Trail, Signal Point Trail area. Now, it's a two and a half mile hike here, elevation gained about 1,200 feet. I will put the information in the description below about where we parked. We're also going to find a geocache, geocaching.com. Come with us as we explore on this pretty February day. All right, Nick, there's the mountain, but first we got to get some trail snacks. I'm gonna get this snack pack, Nick. Cheese and nuts, and you're gonna get some pretzels and garden dip. All right, so we just got our snacks at Aldi. We got some Red Bull. Can't go hiking without Red Bull. Wait, Nick, are you allowed to have it? I'm gonna have to edit this part out. <laughs> All right, we have parked on Suck Creek Road. Got a little waterfall and creek dripping down the rocks. It has rained a lot recently. And it's always peaceful to hear water running down the mountain. As you can see, there's lots of little streams. And this is part of the trail, but we're actually going to go that way. All right, and we are on the other side of the road, about to cross Suck Creek. And Suck Creek always has such a pretty color to it, a blue color. Right there looks like was the old bridge. All right, here we have our first sign for the Tennessee River Gorge segment, Cumberland Trail State Park. Uh, I want to go to Edwards Point one day. We don't have time today, but we'll, we will put that on our bucket list, Nick. Let's yeah. go. And we are about to hike a little bit over four miles round trip. We have uh, almost 1,200 feet of elevation gain, so we have to go straight up the side of Signal Mountain. Here we go. Still right at the road and there's a little stream going across the middle of the trail. But we're not gonna let that stop us. As we always say, Nick, we're on the way up. Nothing can stop us. Yeah. And as you can see so far, the trail's been marked pretty good by the white. Here it comes, everybody. I'm gonna have to get him to crack that Red Bull already. <laughs> Give him some wings up this mountain. <laughs> All right, so we've made a pretty good climb. Got some bluffs showing on top. Hopefully that means we're getting close to the top, Nick. Oh no, you dropped your Red Bull. Oh no, he dropped the Red Bull. Whew. There he is. All right, taking a break already on me. Pop it. Continuing on the trail, we see something cool back up in there, Nick. Let's go check it out. Here we go. Let's see. Have some more water running down. As we said, it's been raining a lot lately. There he goes. All right, that, that was neat. We'll continue on. Okay, so we made up our first initial climb now. Time to get me some wings, Nick. <laughs> Here we have a tree with some enlarged roots. Very interesting, looks like it grew over our, a rock. So the roots had to grow over to get to the soil. And I always like to see logs cut like this because then you know you're walking on a well-maintained trail so nick and i have already taken off our jackets it was a 39 degree february morning but with the sun coming out it has gotten hot and we are actually sweating after that ascend up the mountain yeah. nick how are you doing man tired <laughs> <laughs> tired already thank goodness and here beside the trail we have a patch of it's either rhododendron or mountain laurel if you know tell me in the comments i have a hard time telling them apart but as you can see, we're on the top. There's a ridge in between us. Very pretty. So on the side of the trail, Nick, please do not fall down in there. Oh my God. We have a little stream going way down into there. Oh my, I was so Let's go check this out over here. All right, Nick, please get back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a huge hole in the earth. And Nick just asked me, where is that water coming from? And I said, dude, I have no idea. Because it's just uh, gushing out. Ooh, it just goes way down in there. That is neat. The trail just keeps on getting better and better. 
We are enjoying this. Be careful, it's a little bit slick. There he goes. All right, we're coming back down the ridge. We're about to go over the suspension bridge down there over North Suck Creek. So we've made it down the other side of the ridge. The suspension bridge looks awesome. Cannot wait to go across this. If you have more than 20 people, got to wait. I would love to see more than 20 people out here. All right, it is time. Here we go across. Let's see how much that the shakes. Oh, actually pretty good. Not going to lie. It definitely is a suspension bridge. <laughs> Nick's getting a little bit scared. It is a little bit wobbly out here. Please do not fall off. Let's see the view. Now that is a view right there. Beautiful view, Nick. This is a beautiful day. Oh look, there is my shadow. Beautiful February day for this. Just gorgeous. Again, and Nick's shadow is getting crunk. <laughs> and it looks like on the other side of the bridge, someone's been shooting this sign. And it looks like beside this bridge, I'm not for sure, but this looks like a little camping area. Got some wood for a fire pit. Some rocks. This would be an awesome area to camp. And Nick wanted to touch the water to see how cold it is. He's getting his wish. <laughs> Freezing, huh? Yeah. It is still February out here. And we always love walking along trails along a cliff. We didn't think we were going to need an umbrella today, but lots of water coming down. We definitely recommend going out after it rains because this is just beautiful. All right, I'm going back up and this part of the trail is straight mud. Good grief. Maybe don't come after it rains after we just recommended it. We just walked up mud alleyway and Nick was going to wear his really cool bands today. I said, no, man, I put on some older shoes. Guess what? He thanked me. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Hey, Nick, do not look down, buddy. And we're going straight up again. You can still hear Suck Creek down there in the background. And what is that in your hair? Hold on. Ah, what the heck? How right, we just passed the guy. He told us we are getting close to Mushroom Rock. The higher up we go, the prettier it gets with the rhododendrons and the pine trees. All right, Nick, we made it, man. Look how tall that is, man. It looks just like a mushroom, too. And this was definitely worth the hike. Nick, what do you think about it? It is very tall. Especially for that giant rock to be sitting on that column like that. Very interesting rock formation. And of course, while we were up here, we had to find a geocache. Go ahead and open it up, Nick. More information, visit geocaching.com, and I'll put a link in the description. But it's an online treasure hunt with an app on your phone to get the coordinates. Pretty old, huh? Got a little bit wet. And somebody left food in the geocache. Never leave food inside of a geocache. We will uh, remove that. So if you come from the top of Signal Mountain, which we came from the Suck Creek Roadway, you get a nice indication sign as you enter the area. And Nick is on his way to put the geocache back, but we just keep on saying this does not look real. I mean, it's so tall. Just so majestic. Here is a view from the base all the way up from the outer shelf. And here's another view from the edge of the bluff. And just to give another perspective, how big it is, Nick, how tall are you? Five, five, five. 
he's about five five so that's uh we're gonna have to look up how tall that this is and it's time to eat our aldi snacks with a view we have definitely worked up an appetite and nick has some fruit chews from aldi nick what is that nick just randomly pulled a squishy ball out of his pocket out of nowhere well hello there squishy ball all right we are on our way back we have to go down the ridge up another ridge then we'll be back all right last look of mushroom rock as we go back down and we got to go up that ridge and go back down it to get to our car so we didn't show this on the way up there's this giant slab of a rock it looks just like a plateau so nick is going to go and try and climb up the back of it oh there he goes he made it and the cool thing about this rock is just like the front of it, it comes to a point and it goes all the way back all right he has elected nice excellent landing sir and we didn't even notice this climbing up but there is a switchback and it just goes all the way down pretty steep and here we have a live action shot of nick walking back across the suspension bridge it is so pretty down through here all right we have made it up the the ridge back. We're about to go down a ridge. Uh -huh. I about tripped and fell. But here we go. This is such a cool part of the trail too. He was a slipping and a sliding. Oh, he's on the way back. Okay, we have made it back to our shelter. Okay, and we are back to the initial bridge on Suck Creek Road. My Fitbit has it as four and a half miles, just like alltrails.com had. So alltrails.com had this hike to four and a half miles to Mushroom Rock from Suck Creek Road as a moderate hike. I would have rated a little bit higher than that. You do have to go up three whole ridges there and back, so. That was quite a lot, but we enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, Chattanooga content, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Last bridge of the day. And if anybody was wondering, we parked right up there. And after the hike, gotta have lunch at Crust. All right, just got back from the buffet. Nick, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye.